Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to show you this look that is a mix of a nude Bronson Glam Summer Nights inspired look and maybe a little bit of Kim K. It really is a mix of all the names that you guys mentioned on the last picture that I post on Instagram of these particular looks. So thank you so much for participating and giving me some awesome names. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing that I apply is my primer and I'm using the Air Patrol Primer by Benefit and I apply it all over the lid. And next I am grabbing my Beauty Blender and you can use your finger as well. I just prefer to use the Beauty Blender because it really just makes sure that it's well applied throughout the whole lid. And next I'm grabbing Loose Powder from Shiseido. Translucent is a translucent some powder and I'm going to apply this a good amount underneath my eyes not only to set the concealer but also to just help me with any shadow fallout because we're gonna be working with dark shadow so if you rather just do the foundation last you could next I'm grabbing the graveyard girl swamp queen palette which is absolutely stunning and I'm going to use first the shade natural peaches and I'm going to apply this with a um, blending brush right on my crease. The palette is by Tarte if you didn't know. I hope you do because this is a beautiful palette. Um, it's by Tarte and it's already um, able to purchase in stores and online and I just thought I'll give you another look from the look that I gave you with this palette as well which was more natural. And next I'm going to apply the Dog Man eyeshadow with the same brush and I'm just going to concentrate it right on the outer part of the eye and I'm going to place uh, blend this in into the crease and right into the inner corner as you can see all the dark shadows are going to be concentrated on the outer part and then on the on the inner corner of the eye and then just we're just going to leave the center of the lid clean and then we're just going to blend out the edges and really really make sure that there is no harsh lines and we really want to take our time and as you can see I'm um, grabbing little by little more of the color and just gradually building the color up right in the inner corner and outer corner and and just placing it right right on the socket of the eye so once you finish blending everything and you feel like okay i have the base of eyeshadow we're gonna go now with a, these brown pencil and this is a matte matic eyeliner from L'Oreal and it's the brown shade and then I am going to apply this as a base to just help me grab the pigmentation of the brown shadow that we'll be applying next. So I apply this on the outer corner and also on the inner corner doing a little strokes because we're gonna blend it out next but this is a great tip to just intensify any eyeshadow. You can use black pencil as well. Then you want to grab a pointy brush and this is just gonna help you blend any like the strokes that you created with the pencil it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be perfect blended at this point it just you just want to make sure that there is no strokes that you can really see the strokes and then we're gonna we're gonna grab the shadow uh, sippy sippy and then with that same pointy brush we're just going to precisely apply the eyeshadow on the outer corner right on top of that eyeliner that we apply there to just make sure it really grabs that shadow and as you can see this a brown color has like a speckles of gold that you can see like with the lighting you can see them like glittery and it's so beautiful and then you want to make sure that you actually um, kind of like bring that black eyeshadow like right into the crease creating like a half of moon shape on your eye and really placing that color on your crease and go back and forth back and forth don't move the shadow kind of like don't move the brush to kind of blend just make sure you go back and forth back and forth now we're gonna grab the blending brush and just blend out the edges and you want to really take your time guys with this step next I'm grabbing the 221 brush by MAC and I'm going to apply these I mean I'm going to apply the same brown tone right on the outer corner and inner corner of the eye and doing the same um, motion that I was doing with a pointy brush but this is more of a fluffy small brush and that's why I love this brush so much because it doesn't only uh, put the uh, eyeshadow precisely where you want it to be but it also blends the edges at the same time so after we're done we're gonna grab this beautiful metallic shadow from Tarte and then this is in the shade pin up and I'm going to apply it with my pinky and this is going to go in the middle 
of your eyelid and this is why we were avoiding it at all times because we wanted to leave the center really clean to apply this um, color right in the middle and this is going to highlight your lid and really make your eyes pop and this is a great trick to you know to just make your eyes stand out so once you do that you want to grab a fluffy brush a small fluffy brush or just a pointy brush and just blend out the edges and then touch it up with a little bit more of that popping color and next we're going to take off that loose powder and as you guys can see it works magic and there is no fallouts and there is no messing up underneath you know underneath the eyes and then we're going to grab the dogman eyeshadow and sippy sippy and apply it right on the lower lash line to just make sure is you know it gives you that even out look and smoky out effect and then we're going to um, line our waterline upper and lower waterline with a black pencil I'm using here feline by Mac which is one of my favorites as you can see I'm almost running out but I love to use this pencil it is not waterproof in case you were wondering next I'm grabbing the shadow millionaire by Colourpop and I'm going to apply this with a small brush and I'm going to put it right in the inner corner to give me like a pop of bronzy effect and then I am using this double take eyeliner by Tarte and I'm just using the liquid pen to just up, um, draw a very tiny liner very close to my lash line to kind of like hide the lash band because I'm going to apply lashes so that's why I'm drawing it very small because I don't want it to interfere with the eye makeup and I really want the eye makeup to stand out rather than the liner so I'm just taking my, my time here I do have a tutorial on how to do your liner with great tips and tricks then I'm going to um, apply my lashes and I'm using Shiny Star by Vegas Nay from Allure and I first like to curl my lashes and apply mascara and then apply the lashes after these lashes you can find them at the your New York drugstore Walmart Kmart um, Target and they are beautiful they really are really wearable and I love the shining star so then next I am just applying mascara top and bottom and I use the telescopic mascara from L'Oreal and as you guys can see now I am applying at the lashes and I'm using tweezers and an amplifier mirror to really help me get those lashes close to my natural lash line. Next, I am applying a little bit of loose powder right underneath that contour to make it pop a little more because I'm going to apply my lipstick next. And the first thing I'm going to do is apply my lip liner and strip down my MAC. And this is actually one of my favorite nude lip liners that I ever use. And I absolutely love this color when I do smoky eyes. It's like the perfect nude, seriously, no kidding. And next, I'm going to apply this beautiful color by Dahab Cosmetics in the shade Airy. And I'm just going to apply it all over my lips. I do have a coupon code that you can use um, on their website. And I'm going to list everything down below in the description. And then, let's move on to taking off that loose powder. But most importantly, the highlight. We can't forget of the highlight. And I'm using Artist Couture yes highlight and look at that glow so I did a spray a little bit of fix plus by Mac to give it more of a pop of color and just make it more vibrant and it looks beautiful I do have a coupon code on uh, for their website as well so I will put it down below and you can miss their highlighters they're the bomb and we have come to an end guys so I really hope you enjoyed this bronzy makeup look and if you do recreate any of my looks please hashtag me Camila Bravo um, leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of this look thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up love you guys see you bye